The man accused in a murder spree in Bucks County extradited back to Pennsylvania today to face charges. Prosecutors say Andre Gordon killed his stepmother, 13-year-old sister, and the mother of his two children on March 16th, and then fled to Trenton, New Jersey, where he was arrested. Our Jennifer Lee has that story. Mr. Gordon, is there something you want to say? What happened that day? Wearing a Mercer County Correction Center jumpsuit, Andre Gordon quietly shared a few words as he walked into the Bucks County Courthouse. I say great. Great to God. The 26-year-old is accused of going on a deadly spree in Falls Township on March 16th, killing his 52-year-old stepmother, Karen Gordon, 13-year-old sister, and the mother of his children, Taylor Daniel. He fled to Trenton, where police barricaded a home on Phillips Avenue. Gordon was eventually arrested five blocks away, officers noting he cut his hair in an attempt to conceal his identity. This is the extradition calendar for the first matter. Andre this morning, Gordon appeared virtually before a Mercer County judge to be extradited to Pennsylvania. Mr. Gordon is waiving that right and is agreeing to go to Pennsylvania voluntarily. Bucks County District Attorney Jennifer Shorn says Gordon's daughters, three and five, were present during the slaying. Prosecutors are pursuing the death penalty given multiple killings, grave risk to the community who are ordered to shelter in place, and after discussing with the families. These facts are horrific. Uh, my heart goes out to the family members um, it's just unimaginable we were all anxiously awaiting him in Bucks County's custody and we wanted to make sure to argue that bail uh, not be set given the extent of his crimes among those grieving Daniel's older sister Kyle Stedman she was my best friend she says the death penalty is currently the only consolation following her sister's brutal killing she was so good. Like, she was such a devoted person. She was always working, always there for those kids. Like, she loved nothing more than them two girls. Gordon was denied bail and remains behind bars. He was ordered to have no contact with the surviving family members, including his daughters. He will be back in court on April 16th.